Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm here to do a spoiler free review of Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Ha Lee. This is a book that I received an advanced copy of from the publisher Rebellion Publishing and this of course is not the finished artwork so instead I'm going to insert a picture here because the actual cover is absolutely gorgeous and I definitely want to get a finished copy at some point. Now this book follows a non-binary person that is applying at the beginning of the book to be an artist for the government. However, when they do not get the job that they are applying for, they are instead offered a different position, but that involves working for the armory. Now, in this position, the government is asking this person to actually help them to fix a metal dragon that they are bringing to life using their magic system. Now, the main character, Jebby, is very reluctant to help them out because you find out that the government is not their own, but rather an entity from a different country that has come in and taken over their country and is now oppressing them and taking away their culture. They are especially reluctant because their sister has a lot of really strong feelings against their government and the character Jebby is just reluctant to help them out but they need the money, they need a place to stay, and so they do agree to the terms. Now, as they begin to work with the creature, they realize that this creature has a lot of potential danger, and so the main character begins to question whether or not they are doing good or actually collaborating to hurt their own people by fixing this dragon. And of course, this story spirals into a story of revolution, rebellion. Now, I really enjoy the characters, as you can probably tell from um, my careful wording in this review. I'm not particularly used to using plural pronouns, but I am working on it. And I really did appreciate reading from a non-binary perspective because it's not something I read enough in my literature, but it's definitely something I want to see more of because I do want to get used to that and help to normalize it in my own preconceived understandings of how language and grammar work. But I really enjoyed that perspective and thought it was very nice and inclusive to see that here. The author author himself is a trans man, so it's not exactly own voices, but he definitely brings a queer perspective to the story. He is also a person of Korean descent, and I should mention that this book is very much Eastern inspired, which I really did enjoy. I like fantasy that doesn't have that classic Western feel to it, and this is very much the case here. The characters in this book were well-developed, they were likable for the most part, and just very complex and interesting. They weren't perfect, and I liked that about them. The main character as well as the sister and there is a love interest are all very well developed and again very flawed. They are not perfect people and that's really something I personally look for in my stories. There is also a perspective where you get to hear the voice of the automated dragon and I love that because I personally really like non-human perspectives in my fantasy and science fiction and their voice was just a really nice inclusion and just brought a lot of levity and interest to the story as well. I also really like the fact that this book was very accessible as a fantasy story. If you have not read a lot of fantasy but this book sounds interesting to you, you can absolutely start here and check it out. You don't need to be really well versed in fantasy in order to understand this one. I was a little bit nervous going in because Yoon Ha Lee is known for writing a really hard, dense science fiction trilogy, but despite that, he really went for an accessible version of a fantasy story here. So don't worry at all, you can definitely just dive right into this one and understand what is happening. This book also includes one of my favorite things, and that is a hard magic system. You learn a little bit about how the magic works, and in order for the artist to bring these objects to life, they need to to use different pigments and different grammar when they are putting these sigils on the objects. And I really enjoy when you get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of the magic and it just makes it much more grounded for me. They didn't spend tons of time going over the hard and fast rules so it's not as hard and dense and info dumpy as other hard magic systems are. But if you like a book with a little bit of foundation in the magic, then this one is very satisfying. Now I will say that this book did remind me a lot of 
other fantasy books, things like The Poppy Wars, Elantris, and even The Trader Brew Cormorant. So I wouldn't say this book is perhaps the most innovative or creative in terms of revolutionizing the fantasy genre, but it certainly brought in a lot of tropes and themes that I personally enjoy reading and are happy to read again and again in the fantasy genre. So if you enjoy those other books and are looking for something similar, I would definitely recommend this one. Again, I think that it pulled from different ideas in all of those stories, but it brought them together in a fresh way. If I had a complaint, it's the fact that I wish that this book had been longer. I believe it's a standalone, at least at this point. And I would love to spend more time in this book, in this world, so I would be okay if it got expanded into a larger series or if this book had just been longer in and of itself. I would have been fine to read more pages simply because I was so happy to spend time with these characters and learn more about this world. So that is it for my review of Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Ho Lee. I was very impressed by this one. It was just such a fun, enjoyable read and I would definitely recommend checking it out. Again, even if you're someone who doesn't necessarily read a lot of fantasy, this is an excellent place to start and hopefully you will fall in love with it as much as I did. If you've already read it, I would love to hear your opinions down below as long as you keep them spoiler free. And if I've enticed you to pick it up, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I read a combination of horror, fantasy, science fiction, and some thrillers. Take care, and I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.